So when you think of a pop culture convention of any kind, you probably picture fans in costume, vendors hawking merchandise, and huge crowds of people. Okay, you're not wrong, but many cons offer programming way beyond all that, and Dragon Con in particular has some really unique ways to engage with other fans and ways to help the local community. There's a fun run. This Friday morning event was actually just started recently in 2013 by a group called Geek Girls Run. Do not let that name fool you. Anyone and everyone is welcome to join. The course circles the downtown area surrounding Dragon Con's four host hotels, and runners of all levels and speeds are encouraged to join in costumes or in regular running gear. Named for the famous sci-fi writer, the Robert A. Heinlein Pay It Forward Blood Drive goes on throughout the show. Donated blood is distributed by Life South, which services hospitals throughout Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Locations for the annual blood drive are always listed in the Dragon Con Convention Guide, and participants get a free shirt! There's programming for kids. The Kaleidoscope Track offers a really wide range of activities, including gaming for kids, writing workshops for budding authors, and even crafting. If there is a young nerd in your herd who loves zombies, superheroes, or theme parks, the Kaleidoscope Track has you completely covered. There are entire programming tracks you've probably never seen. There's loads of tabletop gaming at Dragon Con. There's also puppetry, both for younger fans and for adults. And did you know there's an entire track dedicated to discussing the paranormal? These are just a handful, but there are many, many more, and often they're tucked away in little areas where you're unlikely to just stumble across them. So browse your app or your program guide for fan tracks and find your next obsession. There's both a nightlife and a daylife. Some people only go to Dragon Con for the nighttime parties in the drum circles. Others go to panels and do their celebrity spotting during the day and then turn in earlier. And some of those people may not realize the other half of the con exists or that it has something for them. We just want to encourage you to venture out past your usual rut. You might find all kinds of surprising things. Do you want more con coverage and insights into all things con related and otherwise? Be sure to subscribe and visit How Stuff Works where we've got photos from Dragon Con's past, survival guides for cons, and more videos. And do you have a favorite hidden gem of Dragon Con that we didn't mention? Share it in the comments below. And if you're at Dragon Con and you see a herd of people wearing How Stuff Works logo question mark shirts, come and say hi, that's us.